Reliability Solutions delivers hands-on, hard skills reliability training for global industry. Our unique roadmap structured curriculum, along with our strategic and application implementation work, keeps your entire operation moving forward to achieve a precise state. Visit our website, follow us on LinkedIn, or download a brochure and enjoy our on-site written and video content. So when I talk about manufacturing, when I talk about reliability, Understand there are many, many different elements. One of the elements that we're going to talk about today is something called precision maintenance. Okay, so we're going to focus in on maintenance. And that's really where we're going to spend our time. One of the other elements that we talked about, of course, is also process excellence. And within all of these groups, whether it be leadership or engineering, there are certain essential skill sets that must be in place in order for us to lead. So how do we move forward? How in the world do we get more reliable? Well, those are the questions that I'm going to ask you today to begin to observe out in the workforce. Now, as we do this, I want you to understand that there are going to be times when what I say may not be clearer in the way that you understand it. And by all means, ask questions at any period of time because if you ask the question, I guarantee there's five, six, seven other people here in the audience who would go, wow, I'm glad he asked that question. It's the tyranny of words. You may not hear what I actually said. As a matter of fact, if you didn't see the picture, oh, he's grown a foot since I saw him last. If you only heard the statement, then you may not understand I actually meant that he grew a foot. Now, it's meant as a little bit of humor, but we begin to see the context of the meaning. So just because you hear me say it one way doesn't mean that I actually meant it that way. So questions are always welcome. If we're going to start to talk about building reliability, let's start with integrating the advances of the last hundred years. Let's utilize the lessons that we've learned from. Let's go out there and be determined in a way to review what has been successful and then to set ourselves apart and say, what do we improve, where do we improve, and how much can we improve? You see, we've got to set out what we're going to do. Now, if we're going to do that, I want you to take a look up here at this board for me, if you will. And I want you to take a look at this list. And I bet if you just read silently, those items on that list, I bet you've got 90% of them in your plant today. If I talked about operator first pass, you go, yeah, we got that. If I talked about preventive maintenance, you go, oh, 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 we got that. Stop for a second. I'm going to talk about preventive maintenance. You ready for this? I want you to write it down. I'm going to make a statement, folks. And I'm, of course, when I make this statement, I'm going to probably ruffle a few feathers, but here it comes anyways. I happen to believe that 50% of the preventive maintenance routines that you are forming at your facility today are either A, worthless, or B, redundant. What do I mean by that? Worthless in that you're looking for failures that have never happened in the past and probably never likely to happen in the future, but you're going out and looking for them. That sounds like insanity to me. Redundant is the other one. And redundant says this, I not only have one group of people looking for it, I've got mechanics going out and looking at it. I've got a lube guy going and looking for it. I've got operators every shift who are going out and looking at it. I've got an electrician who's going out and looking for the same name failure. I've got three to four groups of people. Oh, by the way, did you, I didn't even mention all of the vibration guys or the infrared guys, the oil analysis. I didn't even talk about them. And they're all looking for the same kinds of failures. How many times do I have to be able to recognize the failure before I say it's actually going on? And how many people have to tell me? 50% of your preventive maintenance routines out there today are A, worthless, or B, redundant. You figure it out. Don't believe me. Go and see if other people are making exactly the same test multiple times, and then go and ask 
ask if that test has ever seen a failure that has happened and or is likely to happen. Preventive. Oh yeah, we got it. We got a check mark. We also have predictive. We've also got line breaking. We've got management of change. We've got precision specs. We've got spares management. We've got vibration analysis. Guys running out there. I guarantee you, you can get to take a look at this statistical process, control, precision, loop. Oh, everybody in the world's got a laser. Just because you're on a laser doesn't mean that you're aligning precisely. It is the most precise way to gain data, but it doesn't do the alignment. Oh, we're going to have a lot of fun with that as we go along, by the way. The problem with this is, is that in almost all facilities, these are handled as separate entities. They are minor fiefdoms within the kingdom, and therefore they do not need to and nor historically have talked to each other. And if they don't talk to each other, you understand what's not going to happen. What's not going to happen is we're not going to understand the weave. And because we don't understand the weave of how these tie together and which one should be the right one to use, we've got to go back and revisit how we've built this house of reliability. Let's talk about this house just for a minute. There are many, many things in this house. And if we take a look at this house and we're going to talk about building the reliable plant, you'll notice all we hear that on the top uh, left-hand corner of your book, you will see the words, or the letters, I should say, ASD. I want you to write that down in your booklet, if you will. And what I want you to write down is asset strategy development. And in the world of asset strategy development, here's what's so incredibly important. You heard me just talk about it a minute ago. And I'm going to bring it back up. But if you are going to tell me how to manage reliability in your facility, then you have to tell me the failures you wish to control. If you can't tell me the failures you wish to control, then what will you have? 